Come on, man. Come on. So, going to the gym, living your everyday life, you have never met anyone? Greeting everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Perry Walker, where I help build strong Christian marriages that last. Now, today I'm going to be talking about a very sensitive topic, so if you are an easily triggered person, I advise you not to watch this video. Now, I have a video of a young lady who pursued her education and her dreams, but she let romance and relationships elude her. Now, I'm not against any woman pursuing an education or her dreams or her goals, but I do believe in a balanced life. So without further ado, let's get into this. I recently celebrated my birthday and I turned 36. Now, I know a lot of people have a hard time, especially women, admitting their age, but I've never had that problem. So let's be grateful that we turned older. But with getting older, I am thinking about my future a lot more. And I am slightly worried because I am living a completely different life than I thought I would when I was younger. I thought that I would that I would be married in my mid-twenties, that I would have a caring husband, that we would have a couple of children, and we'd live happily ever after. But that's not my current reality. I am 36. I am single. I am not even dating. I don't have any children. I have two cats. And that is something that in my culture, is not very common but it is very current reality and i okay i'm gonna pause it briefly there i know i just got started but um i don't know what her culture is i don't know if she's afro latino or if she's african but she's not a bad looking woman she's very beautiful and to be quite honest i find it really hard to believe that she has never had a chance at getting into a committed relationship that led to marriage or that would, would have led to marriage. Just find it hard to believe that. And as she stated, she never thought this would be her current reality. She thought by now, being 36, she would be married, have a couple of kids. And I'm not sure that's how all women that, that do pursue a career and and I guess to accomplish all their dreams, like, again, I'm not against, think or they feel that those things just fall in line. You know, like uh, ladies think about this a lot differently than men. And as she mentioned, happily ever after, like a fairy tale. So I'm not sure if she just thought that was going to happen or if she maybe she turned down some potential suitors, maybe I'm, I'm willing to go with that maybe she turned down some potential guys for whatever reason. You know, I'm not going to speculate. I know that there's some guys that would probably go in hard on her and want to mention the so-called proverbial wall. I'm not going to do that because a lot of times when the wall is mentioned, it's not mentioned in a way to actually bring some constructive criticism or some advice is usually mentioned to satisfy the frustration of some disgruntled men that maybe they didn't have a chance with some women or maybe the women that they wanted a chance with overlooked them. And quite possibly, she was a woman who overlooked a lot of wonderful men in her life. So let's continue. Let's see what she has to say. Do you wonder what my future will look like? Like I am going to my 40s. Okay, in four years, but still. I have friends who are single, and ha don't have any children. I have some friends that have children, but not a partner. And I have a few friends that have children and a partner. I don't want to be in an elderly home with my girlfriends having fun. That's not how I imagine my future to look like when I am old. Now, a lot of girls might disagree and say that that is the life that they want, having fun with their girlfriends, but I don't believe that that is true. I believe that 
a lot of people would want to have a loving, caring, healthy relationship. To grow old by yourself, I don't think that is something that anyone wants. Bingo. She touched on a very important thing here, okay? She talked about how her circle, she has a mixed range of different people in her life, friends. Uh, most of her friends are like her, beautiful, single, no children, career-driven. Some have partners. I don't like the word partner because that doesn't imply that they're married. There may be two people living together that happens to have children. I don't, I don't ever like arrangements like that. But she has friends in her life. A lot of them are experiencing what she's experiencing. And I can feel her agony here because she does not want to grow old in an old folks home with her friends dropping it like it's hot. Uh, she doesn't want to be so-called trying to live it up as old elderly women. She wants to be with someone, which leads me to the human need to be in a relationship. Now, only a few people can be alone. Like the Apostle Paul said to some people, I wish you all like me, but nonetheless, it's better to marry than to burn with passion because most people cannot be single. 99% of the people on this planet <laughs> cannot be single. I think some people have accepted that as their life for whatever reason, for whatever choices they've made, right? And I see this woman fighting. She's fighting because she does not want that to be her plight. The scriptures even says that it is not good for man to be alone. And it's not just man as the male man, but man as the female man, mankind. But the problem comes in is when you have some people, particularly in these modern times, right, in the past 20th century, going into the 21st century, which we're in now, is that we have this relationships have become merchandised. And what I mean by that is that people don't look at folks mainly for the content of their character. When you hear a lot of young ladies talk about uh, a potential suitor, they're looking at resources only. Character rarely comes up. And so a lot of these young women will bypass a good suitor because maybe they don't have the education or the income, or maybe they could even have an income, but maybe they don't have the education or the prestige, which can lead to deception because it will cause people to look for people based upon what they can get out of them or how that person will make their personal lives look. And they can end up alone like this young lady, as beautiful as this lady is. I really find it hard. Like I said, I find it absolutely difficult to think that no good man came up to her and and offered to be in a relationship and I would be willing to say that as nice as she presents herself right that she probably just did not want to commit to someone that maybe weren't at her status or maybe she just wasn't feeling but let's continue I definitely don't want it but that means that I have to change my life because I never imagined that I would be in this current phase of my life that I, am, that I am in right now. I am so focused on my career and business and growing and evolving, but does it mean that much if I'm doing it by myself? Okay, there you go. She said it right there. She was so career driven. Again, I am not against young ladies getting careers, getting educated, I have two daughters and a granddaughter. My youngest daughter uh, is getting out of the Marine Corps and she's starting her career. And I told her to get her education when she came out of high school and when she went to the military. But I also told her, don't turn your nose up at love now, okay? Same thing I told my older daughter. I told my granddaughter the same thing. I don't think that a young woman should get married at 18 or 20 or 21. I think 22 or 24 is a good age. That's my opinion. But some of these ladies are waiting until they're in their 30s. And they go so hard after their careers to the point to where the way they go so hard, they almost have to take on certain masculine traits to do it. And I don't think they intentionally do that. I really don't. I really don't think this woman was intentionally 
doing that, but to be able to survive, I don't know what she does for a business. I don't know what she does as an occupation, but she owns her own business and, and whatever she does or the education she got, I don't know how she has to shake and move. Right. And she's seeing that, man, you know, all the success I have amassed, it's nothing doing it by myself. It's, it's nothing if I'm alone, you know, I want to share this with someone or do she, or is it a certain someone that makes a certain amount of money at a certain status. Let's continue. I find myself asking those type of questions a lot more lately. Even though I am alone, I am not lonely, but I do envision my future to be different. But some things are out of my control. For example, a partner. I would love to be married in the future, but that's out of my control. But I do recognize and realize that maybe I need to put myself in. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys, but I got I got to address these things now out of my control. Now, I've heard it say that women hold the gateway of sex, whom they're going to have sex with. And men hold the keys of the gateway to marriage because men choose who they want to marry women choose who they want to mate with. I don't know if that's true or not. This is just something I've heard, okay? Now, she says out of her control. Again, how many men have approached her who wanted something more than just a surface level? We don't know. You know, she's only telling us, you know, what we, you know, what she wants to tell us. And again, I don't want to speculate in her life because I don't think that's an affair assessment. But I can only surmise looking at a woman, again, who looks like she looks, her personality seems very down to earth. I find it hard to believe that there was no one, no one that approached her over the years. I mean, this woman is 36. Now, she probably graduated from high school, depending on her age, at 17 or 18. Went through four years of college, probably, let's say that she got a master's, okay? So she spent probably six to eight years after high school getting her education, okay? And in between that, she was building her career. So uh, let's say she graduated from high school, I mean, graduated from college, <laughs> at around 26 years old, okay? So she had, so that was 10 years ago. So she probably had a good five to six years. So at least in her early 30s, she, you know, I like I said, I find it hard to believe, right? So I don't think it was completely out of her control. I think she made some choices. Like all of us, we make these choices. Sometimes these choices are made and we make these choices and these decisions so quick, so quickly on the fly that we don't realize it. We don't realize the consequences of them. We don't realize what we're doing. I know I've made a lot of decisions just really quick, so automatic. And then I, I get to a certain spot in my life and says, how did I get here? How did I get here? Different environments because I am someone who is outside I am going to work, I am going to the gym, and I believe that whenever you go outside of your house, there's a chance of you meeting someone. Whether you go to the grocery store, whether you go to the gas station, whether you go shopping, to the supermarket, those are moments that you can meet someone. Now, I've been going to the same spots for the longest, and I have never, met anyone so maybe i should change my environment i don't know why i've never done it maybe because it's <laughs> come on man come on so going to the gym living your everyday life you have never met anyone do you guys now, let's keep it clean. No pointing fingers here. Do you believe that? I don't believe that. 
I don't believe I do not believe that. Not at all. Heck no, I don't believe that. No way. I don't believe that. Impossible. 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 It's just familiar and I hope and think that maybe I will run into someone, but it hasn't happened yet. And I have been single for quite some time. So that is something that I truly have to reconsider. If I want a different outcome, then I have to do different things. It's like Einstein said, you can't do the same things and expect a different outcome. So I have to take responsibility when it comes to that in my life and make sure that I do things differently. If you desire a different outcome. Now I know for a fact that I don't want to be in an elderly house with my girlfriends. So I am going to work my ass off to change my environment. Even if it's just going to a different gym location. I got a membership which allows me to go to different locations, yet I always go to the same two locations. I'm not sure if I want to meet someone at the gym or not, but it's a start. Or maybe even completely changing my... Uh, I think it's going to take a little more than that. Now, <laughs> again, like I said, I just, I just find it hard to believe that in her everyday life, even from college up to this point, that she has not been approached by a man. It may be that she hasn't been approached by a man that she would like or someone she would like to be involved with. And again, I, I, I'm not saying that every woman has to take every offer that a man brings her way, but I just find it hard to believe when I hear both men and women say things like this. I have I just haven't met anyone. Is it that you haven't met anyone that meets your standards? And and standards are okay. Don't get it twisted. Standards are okay. Or is it that, you know, really no one has met you? And I find it hard to believe. Now, I do like the fact that she's taking accountability. That's that word, accountability. I hear that buzzword a lot when guys are talking about videos like this, accountability, being more proactive. Now, I'm more of an old-fashioned guy. Uh, I know some people will say that, well, maybe she needs to approach men. I'm, I'm never, I never really was into that. Now, there is a way that women can do that, and there's some women that do it without doing it, you know, kind of like covertly um, uh, approaching a man without approaching them, but will cause the man to approach her. Maybe that's what she could do. Maybe that's what she's talking about. Now, again, ladies, I'm not saying that you got to settle for anything, but you have to understand that not every man is going to be this high earning, <laughs> high profile guy. You could find a great guy that maybe he's an average Joe, you know, uh, but he's ambitious. He loves what he's doing. He may not have the same social status or the same economic status or education and status, but he could be a man that will love you, cherish you, and help you accomplish your dreams. Heck, both you guys come together and y'all create something brand new. But for some reason, some ladies have been sold this lie that if you go and get your education and you go work hard in your career, you deserve someone who's doing the same exact thing. And I'm not saying that you're not going to meet somebody like that. Now, I'm not saying that a woman should get with a shiftless Pookie and Ray Ray or a Chad and Tyrone. But unfortunately, when ladies get desperate like this one, they tend to gravitate towards those type of men. And they're not able to cipher what a good man is. And then they get themselves in a situation where they can't stand men because they start choosing the wrong type of man or they start doing too much to attract the wrong type of attention. But anyhow, let's continue. Gym membership. But we have to take responsibility for our own lives and the things that we do and the results that we are getting. And if we are not satisfied with those results, then we have to change those. My life is totally different than my mom's when she was my age. My mom has 
five daughters, all over 30. And my sisters are beautiful, but they're all single and don't have any children. And I have a lot of friends who also don't have children. I truly think that when we get older, we will see a lot of women who are single and don't have children. And that kind of worries me because I don't want to be a part of that group, at least for the fact that I hope and wish that I will meet my significant other and have a long lasting, healthy, compatible relationship. I'm undecided about children. That's a whole different topic. I made a video about it. She mentioned some key things again. Now, um, I don't know if I mentioned in, earlier in the video, she talked about, cause I watched it several times already to try to, you know, wrap my head around what she's talking about. But five sisters over 30, all single, not married, no children. Now the plus side is they don't have children. They don't have children out of wedlock. So at least they, you know, she had self-control in that area. And that is very, very good that she didn't open herself up to that type of heartache and that type of burden of mothering children without a father. So that's good. But uh, she says something key in this last statement, compatible. Now, in her video, I did ask a question when I watched this on YouTube. I asked her a question. When you say compatible, what do you mean by compatible? Are you saying compatible from the standpoint of someone who is going to love you, who's going to be faithful to you, who has the potential of being a great father, who has great character? Or are you saying compatible as far as he has the same material, education, and drive for success as you do? See, that's, you know, when you hear some young ladies talk like this, you got to ask that question because still she is aware of her situation, but in the back of her brain, she may be hard programmed through the years of just being such a, a go-getting person striving for achievement to where in her brain she says, I want a relationship but he has to be in the same position or higher than I am. And that could be a problem when you think of it like that. Because what is higher? What is the same? What is compatible? You see, I, like I said, I rarely hear a lot of young ladies that do go hard after their careers talk about the character of a man, how a man could be a great father, a great husband, loving right, who could lead them in righteousness, none of that. It's always about if he don't have what I have, then I can't get with him, like like Ebony K, right? But when it comes to the life that I'm living right now, compared to what I want and what I thought it would be, completely different. So I am going to take my time to reevaluate some things and change some things because that's what it's all about once you acknowledge something you have two choices either you change it or you stay in the same spot and you accept the way that your life is going now for me personally i have decided that i don't want what my future could look like so i better change it and have faith in that if i do my part then god will do the rest Wow, man, I tell you, that's that's an eye opener. That is an eye opener, man. That's an eye opener. And I think that every young lady that is serious about getting into a relationship, being married one day, having children should really take heed to this lady's situation. And again, I'm not shaming this woman. I'm not going to do the same old talking points you hear these cats talk about women hitting the wall. I'm not going to do that because I know that that does not bring about talking about healthy solutions. At least this lady realized that she has to make some changes in her life. She has to be more proactive about the things and be more aware about what she's doing to prevent 
her from being able to be chosen by a worthy suitor. That's that I'm going to just keep it at that. So I'm going to wrap this up and say to the young ladies, look, be mindful, be mindful. And I'm not saying that you should accept anyone, but what you don't want is get to a point where you're desperate because when you are desperate, you start making even worse decisions, right? You're not, you're not able to cipher what a good man is. And men do the same thing, but you don't, you don't want to let an opportunity go past you younger in your age. Okay. Now, if you're older already, there's some things you could change. Hopefully, preferably you do. So if you found any value in this, give me a thumbs up. That's the most important thing that you can do for me so that my video can spread across the YouTube algorithm and my subscribers will get notifications and more people will be exposed to my content. And if you really dig what I'm doing, you can watch another one of my videos that's right up there in the corner. So until the next time, I will see you on the next one. Peace.